Aries, welcome. It's your mid-November heart spread read. This reads the one that's on your mind, the one that's in your heart, whoever that is. You don't necessarily have to be with them. You could be with someone and maybe this picks up on someone else. Just to say, it will pick up on who's in your mind and in your heart. Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot Deck. And I've already uh, shuffled. Um, so do check out if you would, if you like this and resonate. Uh, Soul Family Read. It's up daily reads up every day. It's up for Monday today. I look at the new moon. It's kind of the theme for the week. Scorpio. Um, so it should be some heavy um, hitting energy. Um, for me, the new moon's at 12 degrees exactly on my Scorpio Venus. So it's uh, intense, you know. Now, this, I'm going to look at you. Try to look at you separate from anyone else, just where your mind and heart is at, in and around love and relationships. Um, very sincere, the page of pentacles here. And she's really looking at that uh, pinnacle like it's something valuable. So there's something you want, and, and this is a love reading. So, you know, this is like a beloved... Look at how she's looking at this. And this page, she's supposed to be delivering a message, really. This may be an item. Hmm? Page of Pentacles. But she's stopping, and she's just looking at it. She's kind of, you can say, coveting it. So, yeah, so this is the energy of... Um, maybe if it's not quite about this particular person, uh, you're already in the energy where... You value a marriage, you value a relationship, you look at it as something very special and um, tangible. Mm. It's a great energy to come into a relationship with. Your person now riding the chariot with major Kana, and this is where they are at, on their own, in themselves, the baseline, in and around love and relationships. You know, they would probably be thinking that they manifested you if there's a relationship here. Because their energy is someone that's riding um, high um, in, I believe, with the chariot. It's also about connecting with the soul's purpose and this feeling that you're on the right path. And this would be in terms of relationships. Um, and I kind of get the feeling... Um, they would be very much prepared uh, to be in the energy of they have found the one. They have found the one. And you kind of look like you found the one. You found kind of what, what it is you want. You found, you know what it is your heart wants. Mm -hmm. That's half the game. Now let's see how you're feeling about them. Uh, wow. You feel like no matter what you do, you can't really measure up to them. Now, it's interesting. You come in as a page. They come in on the chariot. I mean, they could be a king. Um, it might be just not feeling like you can measure up, not feeling good enough. It could be that this relationship is not really consummated yet. Um, this is going to be your energy anyway. It's like with the energy of the Page of Pentacles. This pinnacle is so precious to you. And you maybe just can't even really imagine that you could actually have it in your hands and have this thing that you desire, which I think is a relationship, particular kind of relationship. And now that this person is here, they're on the horizon. They're coming out of the sky like manifestation itself here, Aries. And you're kind of thinking, like, there's just no way. This kind of thing doesn't happen to me. Are you sure you got the right person here? All right. Well, I think they are. Because their energy towards you is the lovers. So it could be Gemini energy, Cancer energy coming at you here, Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, think. Sun, moon, rising, and Aries. For a love reading at all, guys. I think this means that uh, that's how they're feeling about you. That's the meaning of this position. 
And they're feeling like the lover's car. Look how sweet that is. You know? They feel like they... They manifested you. I don't know if you really shared the depths of... Your feelings of maybe inadequacy here, Aries. Uh, because I, I don't think they would mind. Now, it's no surprise that the advice is the Nine of Pentacles. This is the advice in this relationship from Spirit in dealing with your person individually. This is very important because now you have the Ten of Pentacles. You, the Page of Pentacles, and you have the Ten of Wands, so you're feeling like you're not good enough. This is the universe telling you, Aries, exactly, you know, the universe is like, oh, you feel like you're overwhelmed and you don't know if you're really ready to handle this and maybe you're not up to this and maybe uh, you're not really good enough and the universe is like, boom, Ten of Pentacles, you got it. You actually totally got it. You could even say with the Ten of uh, Wands here um, that you kind of earn it, you know? And that's from the universe. And so I trust this a lot, this position. Um, now, it does mean uh, don't lose yourself in this relationship uh, boundaries and realize that you really are something and uh, it's not just a miracle and you have a real relationship and you still have your life and yourself and it's actually not ten of wands at all. You can totally handle, handle this hair font on the bottom. There's marriage in the future. Let's leave it like that. Now, what is their advice from Spirit? Wow, I hope there's a cross watcher because when Spirit gives you the Sun card as advice, I mean, that's a full-on blessing. And I think it's a confirmation of your manifestation, cross watcher. Yeah. You're coming in with this chariot. You knew something special mm -hmm, was happening. You've felt it, you're a spiritual person. <coughs> now let's get the advice. And your person uh, probably feels really good. And the Nine of Pentacles goes very well with the sun. My guess is uh, that this person, Spirit is telling them this, but they will anyway. They're literally shining their light all over you, Aries. Um, and so just lighting you up. And so you're just absorbing that power of the sun, you know. And it's just beautiful lovers in the sun i mean it's romance phase relationship there's nothing wrong with it let it be <laughs> let it be uh, and um just kind of lay into it look at this guys thank you spirit ten of cups this is the advice for spirit for the relationship as a whole total emotional satisfaction <sighs> the lovers and the ten of cups the sun. I see you being very solid in this, Aries. Very solid. Uh, if there's any question, I think there's going to be a point you're just overwhelmed. You're just like, this can't be happening. Get over that. It's happening. It's real. You 100% deserve it. I mean, you were like praying for it. And they were manifesting you, this water Gemini person here, Leo here. They've got Cancer, they've got Gemini, they've got Leo in their chart, guys. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, prominent. And the outcome of your heart spread, Hermit card, got this uh, yesterday for someone in the outcome. Um, I think it was, I think it was Aquarius. But what you have here, the advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole, is a Ten of Pentacles, and I, and I see the uh, advice for your person, the sun, as a blessing. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is advice for you, is reassurance for you, Aries, that you're, you've got this, you're not going to lose yourself, this will only uh, make you greater, make you stronger. You know, there's many things, how, ways how that works. It's what relationships are for, to grow and learn. And the outcome of the Hermit, this means that, and you guys may have a marriage coming up here, Aries, um, you guys will be as a couple like the hermit, like turning inward and spiritual uh, and really looking uh, at each other and looking at, uh, at things in depth, um, and looking things uh, from a very spiritual perspective. 
and there'll be an element of, in your relationship in the future here, Aries, with this person um, that will involve a, a, a cloistering somehow. You guys may withdraw a little bit, you know, into kind of a bubble relationship. You might have energy in your composite chart if you do check that. Uh, if you do know astrology and you can check that, I'd be interested to know. Leave me a comment. It would be awesome. Um, if you might have a composite sun with this person in the third house. Venus in the third house, moon, um, stellium, energy, creates that bubble relationship. Um, and, you know, I see this as a period of time, just like the hermit. Um, probably both of you have gone through the hermit phase in the past. Uh, and now you're kind of going to do it as a couple. Um, so it's a deep kind of bonding and a cloistered uh, feel to it. And a, a feeling, i got to tell you, of a, re a reverence about it. It's a, a love and, and profound emotional uh, union, passion. I mean, Ten of Wands also is passion, I should add. It's like you threw your passion up against it until you're exhausted. That's okay. That's what it's for. Uh, so um, it's a lot to come together uh, here. Um, and I think the nature of your relationship, it will be spiritual too. Um, you may therefore see energy also in your 8th house sinistry, 8th house composite um, energy there going on so let me know what you think guys do leave a like that's appreciated comments are always appreciated and helpful to the channel uh, do um, get a read if you'd like I also do astrology um, listed uh, on my site there and do check out the soul family reading let me know what you think of that thank you guys